Hi again, guys and gals, and welcome to the 2024 Downtown Chatham Retrofest. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I run the historic Downtown Chatham Business Improvement Area, and welcome to Retrofest. Let's take a quick walk across the footbridge to Tecumseh Park, where there's plenty going on for folks of all ages. Lots of people here enjoying a perfect day in the sun. There is something here for everyone, young and old. Kids are having a blast on the zip line. There's goodies of all kinds, including cotton candy. There's also a large vendor area. So much to see and do, and I'm leaving a lot out. There was also continuous music on stage. Everything in Tecumseh Park was so much fun with so much happening. But this video will concentrate on those wonderful cars. What a day this was. Hundreds of cars the full length of Chatham's Main Street. That's quite a distance. Thousands of people. Everyone out enjoying a relaxing day. There's Earl's 1947 Studebaker pickup. Let's have a look at more of these beautiful cars here. You know something, you meet the nicest people here at Retrofest. What a great looking 65 Corvette. Now, here's a rare one, a Studebaker Gran Turismo with a stock 289 and a 4 speed. It's owned by Bernie. This is John's 35 Ford pickup. And here's another 35. It's a Pontiac Strato Chief. And how about this cool looking hot rod? Here is another rare one. It's a 1953 Austin Healey, a pre-production model. There's a 28 Ford Touring. You know, some may look at this 47 Buick and say, what a lot of rust. I call this patina, mindful of its age. There seems to be a lot of patina on display here at Retrofest. This is a 48 Plymouth Super Deluxe. Want more patina? Here's John's 54 GMC pickup. There is Paul's 66 Chevy. Under the hood is a 454. And Leo's 67 Beaumont. Leo and Paul are good friends and always park together at car shows. This car is also running a 454. And more cars at Retrofest. Here is a 1991 Austin Healey Roadster. Now a couple of Sandy Elliott drag cars. There's Wade's 1935 Dodge with no back seat in it. It came that way from the factory. This one is all Canadian. Richard was here with his 31 Ford Hot Rod. This one was nicely put together.
I love these Nash Metropolitans. There aren't many around. And a cool looking 64 Chevy Impala convertible. Low Rider. Remember that song? Now this is Paul's 64 Low Rider Continental. What a good looking 67 Plymouth GTX. Here's a look at the engine. There is Gene's 55 Pontiac. Joe came along with his 59 Monarch. It's all original. Let's look at a few more cars. Here's Dan's T-Bird. He keeps it in really great shape. Now, here's a real classic. It's a 1913 Buick Phaeton Touring Car. Restoration has been an ongoing process since purchased 25 years ago. Here's a look at the seating area. You know, this car is so well built, I'd hate to call it a rat rod. I really like what's been done here. Here's a look at the Detroit diesel engine. It also has a nice interior. Very cool. There's a 59 Pontiac Catalina. What a cool looking VW convertible. There's Kenny's latest edition. It's a 1956 Ford F100 with a 351 Windsor engine. Kenny has quite a collection of cars. It was good to see him and Gloria here. What a nice looking 32 Plymouth. Woody was here with his 55 Chevy. Wayne was also here with his 55. There is Ed 64 T-Bird. Randy's 55 Chevy Bel Air. And a couple more. Oh, we're not done yet. How about this 66 Bentley? And this 1994 Rolls. And then there's the other end of the spectrum. This is Old Horny, so called because of all the horns and deer horns. Oh, and by the way, it still runs great. Here's a Chatham built 1920 Grey Door. And a 39 Ford, complete with rumble seat. Let's wrap up with this 1960 Catalina. It's probably running a 389. And a message from a couple of friends just met at Retrofest. We, we love, love Retrofest! This was a great three days and a great car show. But it's time to say so long for now from Chatham. And as always, we'll see you at the car shows and cruise nights. <laughs>